Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. If you're new here or if you happen to come across my video, my name is Rana. I do random videos for fun, mostly about studying, productivity, and sometimes travel vlogs with my family. But not right now because Corona. So for this week's video, as you can read from the title, I'm going to be sharing to you 10 Chrome extensions that I believe are helpful for students like me, especially now that we're still in online class. At least for me in the Philippines. So without further ado let us start and yeah okay guys so on the top of our list is this extension called coffee feelings now this is like a mini journal tucked in your browser wherein you can track your mood every day so if you're like me you're fond of bullet journaling and in your bullet journal there's like a specific area there where you have mood trackers well this chrome extension is really helpful for you so let me show you the extension and let me also show you how to download extensions so let's go okay guys so all you need to do is you search up coffee feelings extension then you will click on the first link available then you will be able to see this coffee fillings offered by cnn mon then you will click this button add to chrome so add extension and you will see the extension in the upper right side of your chrome so here coffee fillings has been added to chrome so you will just click on here and then it's part of your extensions now now you can choose to pin it so that you will see it here directly or unpin it if you want to hide it so depends on you now let me show you how coffee fillings work okay guys so i'm supposed to screen record everything but my screen recorder doesn't work i don't know why so we will still continue we have here different shades of coffee roads we have from the darkest to lightest we have stressed sad we have tired okay and amazing now you can also type here what are you feeling for example i failed my exam and i feel sad about it so today is june 3 as i am filming this by the way so for example i feel sad about it click on that and then you will see here different boxes of your mood so for example for today june 3 i feel sad because i failed my exam so imagine if you filled up the entire year since january 1 you will see here different shades of your mood as for me i only have one mood recorded here because i actually removed my extension for the sake of making this video so i only have one box but it would look more amazing with you know different moods all together now, fun fact about me, which is not really fun, but it's fun for me, is that I don't start my day without a to-do list. So, I like being organized. I like knowing the things that I have to do for today so that I will be able to accomplish them. So, for our next extension, this is actually helpful for people like me who likes to make lists of things that we have to do for today. So, this is called to do list extension. Now, to do list helps you organize your work and basically your life and it helps you combine your list boards and a lot more so let me show you the extension so to do is looks like this it's like a red icon with like three check marks so click on that so this basically is just a list of the things that you have to do so here you can add a task for example cook a meal or something so you have options here where you can add labels for example if it is for school works or household chores here you have to set the priority for example this is like a number one priority for today however if you add a reminder if you click here you will need to upgrade that to a gopro so i'm not gonna do that for now here you can also add more comments then you can add task so here it's marked red because it's like a number one priority for today i have to cook a meal so here you can see there's a number beside the icon which says two because for today i have two tasks so i have to cook a meal and this is just like an example like a default task available but let's just say i remove that okay you can remove this so delete task okay so now i have only refresh one task available 
Now, for our third extension, it is called Dark Reader Extension. So, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Messenger, they're all set at a dark theme because for some reason, the light, the default wipe screen for like the Chrome and my social media apps just too bright for me for my own liking. So, I always choose dark theme, especially if that option is available. So, thankfully, using this extension, you can set your Chrome to like a dark theme with which makes it fun for especially reading at night when you don't want your screen to be too bright. So let me show you the extension. Okay guys, so the Dark Reader Chrome extension looks like this. It's like a girl wearing a blue eyeglasses. So here you have options. So let's turn the dark theme on. And look, your Chrome is now a dark theme which looks really cool, especially at night. So here you have options. You can choose light wherein you can set your screen to a, like a grayish color. You can adjust the brightness of how dark your screen is. You also have a contrast then other options. So basically, you have full control over how you want your screen to look like, how dark you want it to look like, how bright you want it to look like. It's up to you. So for a fourth extension, for example, you're torn between finishing your Netflix series or writing your essay, you can do both by using the extension called Picture in Picture. So Picture in Picture allows you to watch videos in a floating window while you do your work. Well, let me show you the extension. Okay guys, so the icon for the Picture in Picture for Chrome looks like this. So for example, you're in YouTube, right? So you really want to watch your new video but you also need to meet the deadline for your essay, you can do that. So here, click on the icon and look. Um, a floating window will appear playing Alicia's vlog. So for example, I want to open my essay. I can do that while watching Alicia Marie's vlog. Now for a fifth extension, it is called the Forest Extension. You've probably heard of this before. It's the app wherein you will set a time to study and during that time, you're also growing your plant. So let me show you the extension. So this is what the icon for the Forest Extension looks like. Basically, it's similar with the app. So click on that and you will see this 25-minute timer in default. But you can customize that. You can go to the settings and you can log in your Forest app if you have that already and you can also add a block list so block list is where you cannot visit the other websites while you are planting your forest or else your plant will die so in default we have here your facebook reddit and youtube so you cannot visit those sites but you can of course customize it for example you still want to go to facebook okay you can do that so that's basically it for the forest app you can click on it to start planting there is also other trees available in the mobile app. Now for the sixth Chrome extension is what we call Speed Test by Okla. Basically, it is helpful for students who are in online class because of course in online class we have to secure a very good internet connection. So using this extension, you can test how strong your internet speed is. So let's do that. So the icon for the speed test looks like this. So there is like a go button wherein you will click that and it will test the speed of your internet connection. So for seven Chrome extension, it is called Relaxing Sounds. Now from the word itself, there are sounds that you can choose from where you can listen to these while you're studying. Here you can select up to five sounds and you can listen to it all together. So let me show you the different sounds available in this extension because there's actually like a lot. Let me just show you. This is what the Chrome extension icon looks like. Here, there are sounds available as what I mentioned. So you can select up to five sounds. You can listen to it all together. You can play, you can pause, you can adjust the volume here. So we have atmospheric, beach, birds, campfire, and down to wolves. Personally, my favorite is the rain, the campfire, and the nature. So that's it for this extension. 
Okay, so for our 8th Chrome extension, it is called Posture Reminder. From the word itself, it reminds you of your correct posture while you are using your device. I believe that students should really try this extension because this will help you have a habit of checking your posture and it is sort of like a reminder that will pop out depending on the time that you've set. For example, every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour or randomly. So let me show you now the extension. So this is what the extension icon looks like so here you can turn it on and it can change when you want the reminder to pop out so example every 15 minutes 30 every hour two hours or randomly so that's basically it for this extension now the nine chrome extension is what we call save to pocket extension from the word itself it allows you to save videos links articles online so that you can view them once you're ready or you can view them for future use so let me show you how to use this so for example you want to find an article related to how to pass your exams without studying right okay for example you want to save this for later so you're not you don't have the time to read this but you want to read it later so you, all you need to do is to right click and then there's an option there to save to pocket or another way to do that is to click on the extension just click on it and then it will be saving your link so that's it so the last extension that i'm going to share to you is this what we call focus to do so it's actually a two-in-one function you can use this extension to create your to-do list and second you can use this as a timer for your pomodoro study session so pomodoro wherein you study for 25 minutes and take a five minute break here you can check the time that you spent studying or time you spent working and it also allows you to set reminders for your tasks and the good thing about this is this extension syncs your phone and computer so you can access your list anytime, anywhere. So let me show you the extension. So this is what the icon of the extension looks like. And once you click on that, you will see this. So apparently, you have to sign up to use this. So as you can see, this is my account. And then these are the tasks that I have. So for example, today I have to study. And here is the Pomodoro timer, the 25 minute timer. Here you can see your completed tasks, upcoming tasks, and etc. Now you can upgrade to premium to check out other functions of this extension. And here you can see your stats. And then here, just notifications of the things or your tasks that you have to do and settings. So here, if you want to adjust your Pomodoro timer, you can adjust the length. Personally, I prefer the 25 minute default timer. Here's my account. You can change the alarm sound, upgrade to premium, and just the general settings. And that's it. And that's it for the video. Sorry, my brother is... Um, annoying me because he wants to watch a movie with me so thank you for hanging out with me and see you next week tell me what what tell me what's your favorite download it bye